Now there's breaking news coming in. P. Chidambaram is going to head the EGOM on telecom. That's the latest coming in. EGOM was headless after Pranam Mukherjee quit as a finance minister. He was heading this EGOM on telecom. After that, Sharad Pawar recused himself as chair from the chairmanship, uh, wanting to stay out of controversies. He had written a letter to the prime minister recusing himself. Uh, uh, from heading this high-profile empowered group of ministers on telecom and the latest now coming in P. Chidambara will head the EGOM on telecom. Breaking that news to us is our deputy editor Kartike Sharma. Kartike, uh, after Sharad Pawar accused himself, uh, uh, this is one political hot potato which the government is founding, finding difficult to deal with. Uh, is it now certain that Chidambaram will be heading the EGOM on telecom? Yes, Sri Ramnam will be heading the EGOM uh, on telecom. It will be a seven-member telecom. Notification will play, take place uh, late afternoon today. Uh, and the reason why this had to be done was because Mr. Pawar had accused himself because he felt that certain people during 2G scam had personally attacked him. Uh, but saying that, it hints at a larger role which Mr. Chidambaram will play. Uh, people speculated that Chidambaram will not be given the charge of telecom because there are certain 2G matters which are sub -judice. But the fact that he has been given up, uh, uh, the power as an EGM head over telecom uh, puts him uh, above all the other uh, uh, ministers and actually uh, hints at the fact that he might just end up getting his old portfolio once the big reshuffle is done. Because there is no other way that a senior minister like Chidambaram uh, gets to head the telecom uh, uh, EGM because telecom EGM cuts into various ministries, whether it's finance, whether it's commerce, it's, 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 it's one portfolio which cuts across a lot of central ministries. So it also uh, hints at the, uh, the stature uh, of uh, Mr. Chidambaram uh, post Pradam Mukherjee uh, um, uh, Congress. Right, uh, that's significant what you're telling us. Uh, also, Karthike, just explain to us why this EGOM is so significant. Uh, one reason, of course, is the fact that it has to make a crucial decision on fixing the base price of 2G spectrum, uh, something over which there isn't uh, unanimity. You see, this EGOM is significant because uh, the decision on pricing will have to be done. There is a dot order post 2G investigation after the FIR was filed by CBI Ruchika. Uh, and the dot order was that there has to be an additional amount which has to be raised from the telcos, which is more than 15 to 17 thousand crore rupees. Now, telcos are saying that this will set them back, affect their profits, and increase the rates of calls. Make the, it will make the telecom sector very unprofitable and consumer uh, unfriendly. But, Ruchika, uh, since the matter is sub judice and public perception on 2G is so strong, the government is really, very really afraid to oppose the matter, uh, or oppose the proposal of dot in public. But they also understand if they implement it, it's going to create a crisis with the market sentiment. So on this, the matter came to cabinet in, uh, in, a, in, a, in, in last week's meeting that the matter is so complicated that it got referred to this EGM. Now EGM will decide on the pricing of the spectrum, which will, which, which, which means as a bottom line that whether these telcos will end up paying 20,000 or 80,000 crores or not. That's the, right. that's the, that's something which these, uh, seven ministers will decide. It's a very tricky matter. On one hand, you have public perception, and on right. the other hand, you have order of the talk.